I'm doing a lot of work with Brad Faxon. Uh, that looks good. And putting like Brad Faxon. <laughs> Nobody puts like Brad Faxon. <laughs> he was, I mean, he was one of the bosses of the moss, wasn't he? Ball slightly above your feet makes hitting that little draw easier. Land it just right of the hole somewhere. Sort of like that. Beautiful. Part of the sustainability model and trying to see what we can do to do our bit. Got plenty of kids involved as well, and that was another great shot from Justin Thomas. Oh boy, are they attacking this flag here at 13. Excellent shot from Thomas. He liked oh. it. He loved it. Matt Fitzpatrick, a highlight early. Let's begin on 17. Thomas Dietrich playing this hole at 189. He's already three under. Up to hot start. Longish par three. I, I guess long. 189 is still pretty long. And uh oh. Uh oh. Could we get one early? We almost had our first hole in one already. Thomas Dietrich. Oh, McElroy. <laughs> this is incredible stuff, isn't it? To get this close to the flag, you've got to be landed in the ideal position. There's a little upslope just short of the flag. And that is very, very pretty, pretty indeed. Down to earth guy. Just backed off there. I don't know, maybe a little little bug or just a, just trying to gather his thoughts. R Rory McIlroy's well. wedge play. Mm. I know this is the third time I've mentioned it today, but his wedge play is improving out of sight with this exit left move on the follow through. McElroy back in the upright lead at five under par. And there's your eagle, Tony Johnstone. Yeah, but we might have two or more. <laughs> good good <laughs> call though. Good call, Jan. With the breeze, just wonder if he's gonna lean on the sander and generate the spin required to bring it to a nice halt. Looks like it. Put a little extra on that. Hit it hard. Well, oh, oh, come on. Pick it up. Beautiful shot there. Yeah, right elbow gets right in the pocket. Not like this man, though. Nope. Adrian Moronk. 114 yards. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Another great one. This is playing real easy for the boys. Oh, today. yeah. <laughs> Eight yards by seven yards. Anything that doesn't hit that heads into trouble. Oh, brilliant shot from Xander Shoffley. Oh, this is a terrific looking golf shot from Xander Shoffley. Beautifully done. Oh. That should be a mere formality to get it back to level par for the round. Green side at the par five. Yannick Paul has a little bit of a mound between he and the flag from over there. There it is. Oh, how about that for a turnaround? Dropped a shot at the first, par the second, eagle at three, and all of a sudden he's under par. Could he be a Ryder Cup player? Could he? Six. Sounded very sweet. Sounded very sweet. Oh, so well struck to get it to zip and stop that quickly from a little downslope. Played nicely, as Ken was saying, at the Betfred British Masters a couple of weeks back. Getting his mojo back, no question. There, any time you win at Pebble, I think that has a tendency to do it. Second shot is sublime. Yeah, I think not making it into the uh, Ryder Cup team last round. Here's Max Homer at the sixth. Nice safe tee shot. And a very good birdie. For a round of 61, 
which would tie the course record. Ben Ann at the ninth. Oh, and he's got it as well. What a way to finish. Rough on the right of eight. Quite a tricky one. So good. Incredible from over there. I talked to him at Bay Gill, he said, yeah, I need a new replacement, man. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Trundle. He'd be coming. Even his bad ones are good. Yeah, he didn't like that. Long pop. The eighth for birdie. No, not that long. Yeah. He's got it. Another birdie for Max Holmer. Shot delivered from Scheffler. Is this how good he is? A long one for Ricky Fowler, which he rams in the middle. He gets the two under. What a lovely part. So we turn over to the back nine with our featured group in just a moment. First, we take a look at Alex Norin on 17. And that is a beautiful shot to this par three. Outside of Thomas Dietrich's, that might be the best we've seen today. Beautiful golf shot. That's a great shot, especially considering you just bogeyed the previous hole. It's the eighth hole. That was uh, used to be a par five. 172 yards left for Fisher after a good tee shot. Oh, uh, oh, you're not supposed to be able to do that at 18, Frank. Yeah, last year, reiterating, just six birdies. Actually, Ross is staying in the same hotel. It's good to see him. Three yards. And lovely shot there. And should lead to a birdie for Scheffler. Front right, whole location, 140 yards. It's hiding behind a little mound there, Brad. Big drive there. Oh, perfectly played there. See, there's a little bit of softness in these greens. Even downwind, you can get the ball to stop it. Picture Perez lives in nearby Edinburgh as a member here. Look how hard he hits that back into the wind and how hard it hits the flag stick. Perez, what a birdie. Look how hard the wind's blowing now. It's really changed a lot throughout the day, Frank, hasn't it? Well, there's a lot of special holes on this golf course. This one's particularly good here. Par three, back down the hill into the wind with a shorter iron. Number 14 only. 141 yards, 43 yards, excuse me. And that was executed perfectly. A shorter distance. They can shorten their backswing. They can make slower tempo. They can grip down on the club. That one was one of those shorter swings. And grip down. Yep. Oh, and worked. <laughs> Look at that stopping dead, too. Almost as good as Max Homer. Plenty of green to work with, too. Flag isn't overly tight here. Go in. Nearly. What a shot. From the front edge of 14, Justin Rose with pace. <laughs> Straight to the bottom. Over the weekend, we do expect the wind to pick up. I don't know if you heard, maybe 40 miles an hour. I'm <laughs> not sure. I'm not believing you, seriously. I'm hoping 30 max. How impressive that 61. I, I know a little calmer in the morning, but uh, Ben Ott goes out, shoots nine under. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.